And uh, you were adamant that Ntlantlanene uh, had to go. Well, he has now gone, so you're pleased on that count. But uh, what about the appointment of Titomboweni, who you might have known when he was Minister of Labour? Well, we know him very well. As you know, we worked with him when he was uh, in a breathtaking, ghastly, uh, spearheaded the process of transforming the labour market from the apartheid era and uh, to a post-democratic era. And in our view, he did very well. And uh, he was consultative. He had, uh, was open to uh, persuasion. He had strong views at times. He's a good listener. And uh, we, we know that. But uh, uh, he then went to the position of the Reserve Bank uh, Governor. And in our view, he became more conservative. He embraced the status quo of chasing the inflation when we felt that the bigger crisis for South Africa to be targeted uh, was the crisis of unemployment, poverty, and inequalities. We had huge disagreement about that with him. And uh, I guess those disagreements will remain. I think that. Uh, his appointment is meant to please the market, and from what your studio uh, is saying, they are pleased, and they should be pleased, because the status quo will be maintained, and for workers, nothing will change. The crisis of unemployment will be secondary to the conservative orthodox uh, monetary policies, and uh, I'm sorry for workers, nothing will change. But you said that he does listen, so maybe he might uh, lend you an ear and convince you of his policies. We, we can always hope so. There's definitely one thing about him, he doesn't run away from an engagement. Uh, with his strong views, uh, he will listen. He won't run away, he won't shut the door, he won't try to isolate anybody, and uh, he, will, he will try to convince us. But uh, from our point of view, there is nothing we can be convinced about the current fiscal and monetary policies because we have evidence that they have dismally failed, leading to a crisis at hand now where unemployment has reached the unprecedented levels of 37.4% and where 9.7 million people or nearly 10 million are unemployed, majority of whom are the young people where we have become the most unequal society in the world, and where 55% of the population is trapped in degrading poverty. And uh, so we will continue to argue that we are in the wrong uh, macroeconomic path and that we need to abandon this in favor of much more uh, expans expansive uh, uh, fiscal and monetary policies, uh, prioritizing industrialization, in that process in addressing the structural issues in the economy that were left unattended even in the context of the much publicized job summit that took place on the 4th and 5th of, of October. All right, before I let you go, uh, do you think, what do you think actually of Ntlantlan uh, falling on his sword uh, for the greater good of the nation, as he put it? Well, I thought that uh, he was uh, in trouble the minute he admitted that he lied. But to me, the issue is not whether I lied or not. I suspect that if we were to use a, a new standard that says anyone who met uh, the Guptas must fall, then I suspect we'll be left with no leadership, no cabinet, at least in the ANC. And uh, the issue to me is whether in those discussions he did uh, 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 return some favor, advantage them in one way or another, or to do all of these things that we now know these guys were calling ministers into their compound form, which is to cut corners and uh, to advantage them in a manner that undermines anything that we call transparency and good governance. But to me, the most serious allegation that we had to face is the allegation flowing from the Mail and Guardian that says that uh, he advantaged and he chaired a meeting where his son was awarded over a billion right by the PIC, and an allegation said in the Dassins that the billion was then written off on the basis that his own son was untraceable. 
He has not responded, or at least we have not had him uh, strongly denying that. And, uh, and that's why we thought that uh, on that strength of that PIC allegation, he has to go. More so, because today, as we speak, uh, senior executives of, uh, of the PIC were in, in a hearing. They are being persecuted by somebody who we are told is supposed to be investigated, the CEO of, a, of the PIC. The whistleblowers are running for cover. They are being dealt with. And that's why we have made a call to the president to say it ought not just be translated in a manner that must be recalled. In our view, the current uh, PIC CEO, Mr. Uh, Machila, must be suspended with immediate effect. And all of those people that are being put on trial for whistleblowing the corruption in, in the PIC must be allowed to provide evidence to an independent commission of inquiry on the affairs of the PIC. All right, and that's where we'll leave it. Thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us on the line. Zuelenzi Mavavi, the General Secretary of the Trade Federation.